today's video we're looking at the King Song S19. Uh, I've had this wheel, I've been riding this wheel for just over a week and I've had the opportunity to ride it, crash it and find a whole heap of things I like about it. One thing I'm not a fan about and one thing I really hate about it. So stick with me, we'll go for some on-road, some off-road riding and I'll tell you all about it. Scotty. Scotty. Right, but before we actually get into the video, because I want this video to be all about the wheel, how it rides, how it performs, and share my thoughts. Let, uh, it is a 1,776 watt hour battery. That's with the 50 E cells. From my understanding, there will be a smaller watt hour battery, but higher discharge coming with the Samsung 40 Ts. Speak to your dealer, let them know if you're interested in that option. Uh, it is 32 kilos, which is a big deal for this wheel because of the performance it's packing. 32 kilos means it's reasonably easy to pull in and pull out of the boot and lift over fences, which we'll be doing a lot today. It's a 3,500 watt motor, so it's got really good get up and go, uh, and it delivers that top speed of 60 kilometers per hour really easily. Uh, it's got 90 millimeters of suspension travel, and the suspension currently, with well this one at least, is, is air suspension. So it's got the, the pump up shock there. I've spoken to King Song and they have confirmed that there will be two options available. Your dealer will be able to order in either the air suspension or the spring suspension. A couple other small things, it's covered in lights. LEDs that you know flow and fall and flash and all that sort of thing. It really is a mobile disco. Uh, it also has a built-in equalizer so when you're playing music the lights can beat in time which is really nice. You know it's it's going to annoy a lot of people. I can tell you that right now. And the speakers on this are very very loud. We'll do a sound test shortly when we get into the forest. It's got four speakers. It's got two 15 watt speakers and two 20 watt speakers. And I can tell you, I've, I think I've ridden every wheel that has a speaker in it. This is the best sounding and loudest speaker system on an EUC to date. It's loud, it's clear, and it's got really nice bass. So the first two things that I really like about the S19, it's headlights and it's pedals. The pedals are the same honeycomb with nubs like the S22, like comfortable, good size. I'm a size uh, US 11. My foot has no problem fitting on there. I can get the toes over the front for leverage, for, you know, for speed and so on. And they're very, very comfortable. They're nice and grippy. The headlights, again, same setup as the S22, a little bit dimmer according to the specs, but still really, really bright. Especially at night time when you turn them on, it really does light up the path and you can angle them up or down. The other nice touch is these surrounding colored LEDs, which is all connected to the system in the wheel. So these all flash and light and you can turn them off if you're not into that sort of thing, but it's a nice touch that they've done it. first thing that I'm not a fan of. I don't hate it, but I'm not a fan of on this wheel. And it's to do with the trolley handle. Now they may be gonna change this for, for the production. I, I haven't got any word on this, but two points. There's no release or magnets. There might be magnets, but they're very, very weak. So when you're off road, you can hear this uh, jumping up and down. That's easily solved with a little bit of foam padding. I get that. Second point is there's no lock. 
So when you lift it up, that's the position. So it's not locking in, which I'm not a big fan of. I wish it locked in and it stayed up. And to maybe to release it, there was like a, a little switch up here or something to put it down. Now on the flip side, something I do like about the handle is the way they've designed it to have this, what I'm gonna call a bump stop. So it goes there, it can't go any further and it's solid. So what that means is even if the wheel's not on, you can lift it up and it's not putting any pressure on the wheel or on the handle. And you can pick it up and you can just wheel it with the wheel being turned off. Now the next thing I really like about the S19 is its ride comfort. Um, the suspension is really comfortable. It forgives a lot of bumps, vibrations, but this wheel rides beautifully. It has the CST 2.75 knobby tire on it. It's the same tire I think that came on the Hero. It takes a little bit to get used to. It takes a little bit to wear it in. When you first get on it, it feels very, very square and doesn't really want to turn, but you get the hang of it pretty quickly and it wears in really nicely, really quickly. And then you sort of get the best of both worlds. You get the hybrid tire. So good on-road, good off-road. It's never gonna be as super carvy as say a, a, a street tire, a, a um, Pirelli or a Michelin road tire, but it still does a really nice job. And there's very little road noise. Um, I'll just stop any music and sound effects and whatever right now and just let you listen. And I'll, I'll shut up for, for 10 seconds, have a listen. Now the next thing to acknowledge, just as a watch out or a nice to know, are the pads. Uh, Kingsong are supplying the wheel with built-in built -in pads. So the, the wheel is designed to house their pads. It does come with a secondary pad in the box, which is really nice, but it also comes with these power pads included, which stick on with Velcro, and they do do a really nice job. They, they utilize the back of the speaker. You've got your, your uh, upper calf there, I guess you call it, and your front shin for accelerating and braking. Here's one little area, and I know the guys will, the, 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 the enthusiasts will come up with something, but this gap here, if you want to jump this wheel, is a little bit too big. But I'm sure we'll start to see some 3D printed um, braces or brackets that'll Velcro under there, just to hold your foot in. So when you do get air on this, I find my foot sort of comes up, I lose grip with the nubs, and then it comes back down pretty quickly. But the fact that these are included, and they seem to be really well made. Um, I said on my intro, I have dropped this, I have crashed this already, and there isn't a mark on it. They didn't rip, they didn't fall off. That can only be a good thing, right? But if you're buying this to, go, to do extreme jumping, just know you will have to alter the pads slightly to lock you in just a little bit more. is a, a call out, a watch out, but also a, a kind of annoying thing. With any wheel, you wanna have support when you fork out a lot of cash. And you wanna make sure you've got the support, the backing, uh, and the confidence when you buy these wheels. Now the reason I bring this up, this is a brand new unit. We had this air shipped directly to the store from Kingsong. It was in transit for about eight days. And when it arrived, at the shop, it would not turn on. We plugged the charger in, nothing. Light stayed green, zero. And this is where the support I was just talking about. You wanna know that if that happens to you, if you buy a new unit, you wanna make sure one, it's been QC'd, quality controlled by the person who's selling it to you, the dealer. And two, you wanna make sure you've got the, the trust and the confidence that the person you're buying it off, us being a dealer, by the way, I work at an EUC shop, 
um, has your back. So we had to pull this brand new unit apart. We had to jimmy up a, a charger off a 100 volt uh, charger we had in the shop. So we, we weren't sure if it was the charger or the batteries. And we had to manually bypass the BMS and charge both sides. There's only two in this one. There's not four like the S18, which is I'm so happy about. But we had to manually bring the batteries up to 80 volts. Then reassemble the wheel, reconnect the BMS and charge it. And luckily, we got it. We managed to charge it back up. So the point I want to make is uh, when you buy your wheel, no matter what brand it is, make sure you've got good warranty behind you because these things can happen. As I said, brand new wheel arrived DOA, dead on arrival, needed work. Luckily, we had the ability, the tools, and if needs be, we had the batteries to fix it on the spot. Make sure you've got that coverage as well. So just quickly talking about the tire, because we've touched on it already. That's another strength about this wheel, and it's a really basic one that you can swap and change, whatever, but I like the fact that with the CST um, 2.75 knobby, you can go from street to trail, and it can do both. It doesn't do street exceptionally well, but it does both pretty well. I'm not even gonna say very well. So it's a, it's a nice hybrid in-between tire, and you don't like it? just change it. It's not a big deal to do a tire swap. I like this one. I would definitely leave it on because I like to be able to do both in the same ride. The next thing I really like about the S19 is its display. It's really, really easy to read. Uh, on your screen, it'll be flickering because I don't have the right hertz set. When you're stationary, it shows you your battery percentage. Uh, when you're moving, it shows you your speed with some really nice animations. When you're playing music, it has a really nice uh, equalizer graphic. So you can see there, first basically, it's just a nice to have. Now I know music is not important and all those bells and whistles are just add-ons, but we need to comment on them. I like them. It was one of the reasons I really liked the V12 was its quality of music and speakers. And the S19 is even better. If you're into that sort of thing, the S19's got you covered. Really good speakers. I'll just stop talking and you can listen. Hopefully you can hear that. The microphone's up here and it's very windy today. That's just over half volume. Not bad, right? But the next thing I want to cover off on, the next thing I really like about the S19 is, well, it's, its place in the EUC ecosystem. It's 32 kilos, but it has that really nice 3,500 watt motor, that 1,776 um, battery. So it's a good size battery, it's a good size motor. It's what I would classify as mid-weight, certainly not heavy. Uh, it's easy, very easy to live with. But it's got good performance, you know, you can, you can certainly go and have a lot of fun with this and still get good range. 
you can take it off-road. And the 100 volt system means, you know, you've got a lot of confidence that you can lean in and enjoy uh, the power of that motor. You can really give it a bit of stick on the flats, up hills, that sort of thing. Now, I'm not saying this is the best wheel ever made. It certainly has its place. I think it sits certainly above the S18, probably below the S22 for raw performance, but I would put it above I would put it above both of those for sheer convenience, for the weight and the power that you get. It's a very convenient wheel. And I think this will steal a lot of sales from the V11. You know, this is a, a commuter wheel. It's good for getting around the city and doing some light off-road trails. It gets to its top speed. It doesn't have speed wobbles when you hard brake. Good speakers, good music. All that sort of thing makes me want to say the S19 is just a sensible, well-rounded, well-made wheel. Now I do have a caveat to that, and I'm going to talk about it next, just around some QC and issues that I don't like. And then I'm going to tell you the one thing I absolutely just hate about this wheel. But it can be changed, thank God. Can you see the silicon? Just past the silver. I'm trying to light it with my phone torch. Very, very messy uh, application. Um, other thing, and this isn't a big deal. This one's easily fixable. This thing right here, it's lovely. It's nice that it's been been braided in like a, a steel sort of spring-like material. But when you're riding, it bangs on that mud guard. It flicks and bang, quite, makes quite a loud bang when you do a jump, you kind of like bang. It flicks on that mud guard. It's a very easy $2 part to do when you get the wheel yourself. Sideways. All right, now I know there's not many videos out on this wheel yet, so I'm trying to give you what I love, what I don't like, and what I hate. And I know there'll be much, much bigger EUC YouTubers who will find a lot more critical issues with these. I've been riding this for over a week, and I really do enjoy the S19. I've already said this a couple of times. It doesn't have the biggest battery. It's not the fastest. But for what you get for the price, it's a hell of a lot of EUC. It's been really well thought out. If you look past those little nitpicks that I've pointed out, it's really hard to go wrong with this wheel if you have good dealer support. Now, the thing, the one thing I hate about this wheel, and it's very, really, I hate something as much as I do this. I'm gonna show you what it is. I'm not even gonna tell you, I'm just gonna show you. Here it goes. The lift switch built into here for me is just a mistake now you can turn it off so it's not the end of the world but when you're riding especially this wheel I don't know why I just feel so natural on this wheel but when you're riding this wheel and you slow down you come for a stop you grab there and it cuts out and it falls when you're not expecting it to, to cut out and fall backwards it does catch you unaware and it's really annoying yes you can turn it off would I like it to be somewhere else 100% but that's the one thing I dislike. I'm gonna use the word hate about the S19.
stick with me. We'll go for one more little ride and then I'm gonna give you my final wrap up. And uh, yeah, you can make your mind up if the S19 is the wheel for you. Final wrap up on the King Song S19, 3,500 watt motor, uh, 1,776 watt hour battery, plus a slightly smaller option for the 40 T cells. They have the higher discharge rate. Uh, 32 kilos, a whole heap of LEDs for, for your lighting effects. Uh, four speakers, nicely made intermediate EUC that is very very capable of doing on road and light to medium off-road uh, two suspension types this is the air you can get the spring like I mentioned speak to your dealer if there's one you want more than the other so they can order those ones in and yeah it's kind of like the baby brother of the s22 That is the end of the video so thank you so much for watching as always if you've got any comments or questions chuck them down below if you want to see more euc content let me know what wheel you want me to feature i can go out i can ride it for a few weeks i can give you my thoughts on its strengths weaknesses and if there's any little issues opportunities that sort of thing uh, but that's it thank you for watching ride safe wear a helmet and we'll see you next time scotty oh scotty <laughs>